What's up guys? It is now October, so let's talk about what I consumed in September. So we're gonna start with books, so we're, that means we start with Gemma by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Illuminae Files series. I am in the process of making a video for this entire series where I'm talking about it in a little bit more depth, so you have that to look forward to. Should be out next week. By saying that, I'm keeping myself accountable. The second book I finished in the month of September is the third book in the Illuminae Files series which is Obsidio, and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be super incredibly vague about the beauty and awesomeness of this book because I'm working on an entirely separate video where I'm going into more depth about it. Just know that I finished it. And the last book that I read, I'll actually talk about a little bit more, is The Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. This, the simplest way to explain this, and it was the way that I understood it, and I think I actually heard this straight from the author herself, of it's the story of Anastasia in space. So this is a sci-fi young adult novel and apparently it's getting a sequel. We will not have unanswered questions, but yeah, like it's the story of Anastasia set in space and it's beautiful. It took me a really long time to get through the book and it's only because it just it had a hard time carving out the time to sit down and actually like physically read a book. It's so much easier for me right now to listen to books on my way to work and sitting and like actually reading a book is hard. But this was a very beautifully written, absolutely worth every single moment that I did actually spend with it open, like reading it. It is a multi-narrative. So there are four different narrators. So we, we do get the, um, we do get the perspective of Anastasia, which is not necessarily her name in this novel. It's not like the beautiful animated story that we all know and love. It's similar yet different. And it took a while for me to reach to the point where we finally were introduced to Dimitri. I had my hunches as to who Dimitri was in this novel and I'm not going to tell you who Dimitri is in this novel because you should just go read it yourself. If you, specifically if you enjoy sci-fi novels. And then if you enjoy the story of Anastasia, I do enjoy the story of Anastasia and that was the whole reason why I picked up the novel. So yeah, totally worth the read. I am curious to see what, um, what Ashley Poston has in store for us with Soul of Stars, which is the next book uh, for this particular story. I finished the second season of The Good Place because it's now available on Netflix. And I was actually really let down by it. I really enjoyed the first season, thought it was funny. It, it's, it asks a lot of good questions while being funny and light and all that fun stuff, but second season I feel like we have a lot of build up and no payoff. So maybe the third season that's happening right now will have the payoff that the second season built up to. So it would actually have been worth, you know, waiting for the third season to come out and then just binging it altogether because it's not worth, in my opinion, watching week to week. It's a binge show. It, it just, I don't know, it doesn't have that, oh yeah, I want to know what happens next week because it's a 30 minute show. I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't have me hooked in the same way that some of my other shows that I watch from week to week do. And then to wrap all of this up for movies, I saw Life Itself, which is written and directed by Dan Fogelman, who is the writer and director of This Is Us. So basically, if you enjoy This Is Us, I think you will enjoy Life Itself. It's a very similar structure of how the story is told, but everything is just, it's different, I think. Um, granted, I haven't watched a lot of This Is Us, I think I finished the first season, I just haven't gotten around to watching the second season. What I have seen of This Is Us, I have enjoyed, and I did thoroughly enjoy Life Itself. There were a few moments where it's like, was it worth going that far with it? And I, I don't have an answer for that. But like I said, if you enjoyed This Is Us, or if you are currently enjoying This Is Us, I think you'll enjoy life itself. That is all that I have, because that was all the media that I consumed. I will see you next video, bye.